Hey, this is Chubbs. Back again with a story I think you'll find that's quite pertinent to the current year. I don't know why it's taken me so long to connect this series of strange but scary events to my recent awakening, but I think you'll be glad I finally have. It's a tale from my misspent youth, or my early 30s to be more precise, but the seed was planted much earlier. Since I was a kid, I've been able to notice the pointless things that people do. Actions that aren't logical or productive, but have over time become ingrained into daily life. This ranges from small things like waiting 5 minutes to get that car park rather than taking the free one over there to save a 2 minute walk, to more impactful faux pas like mindlessly believing anything deemed fact by so called authorities, elected or self appointed. US Senate, the eyewitness out on parole after an illegal gun who they think should be the president was found a moment. So naturally, I gravitated to so called conspiracy theories. Exploring alternate takes on things most people take for granted. Malicious lies. The more I looked into ancient history, the more obvious it became to me that the wonders of the world, the megalithic architecture, was far beyond what humans should have been capable of, and often beyond what we can achieve today. And evidence for the paranormal, and UFOs, alien abductions, etc., was undeniable to me. So when YouTube came along, I thought I was in heaven. I devoured everything I could find in these areas, and eventually I found Coast to Coast AM, and later on Ancient Aliens, which led me to what I now know as the New Age Worldview. Although I was raised agnostic and eventually was programmed into atheism, as most are these days, through devouring all of the New Age type content I could find on YouTube, I have found a type of spirituality which didn't come with any of the trappings of the Christian church the mainstream media had programmed me to despise. By 2009 I was deep into this world view, all steep, up to my neck even, practically drowning. The indoctrination was complete, and I was convinced that humanity had been seeded by an alien species who were destined to come back and save us, probably in late 2012. I desperately wanted to see a UFO for myself, or even experience an abduction. Anything to give me some hope that our alien saviors were the real deal. That was when I started having what is commonly called sleep paralysis. In the beginning it was just strange and unsettling, a walk in the park compared to what would come later. As I was drifting off to sleep, I'd feel small depressions in the mattress, as if a cat was climbing onto my bed. I'd then feel it softly pawing me, as if it was looking for a comfy spot to climb onto. It was usually as it started climbing on top of me that I'd remember we didn't have a cat, and I'd notice that it felt bipedal. At this point I'd start to freak out, which would usually wake me up, or partially at least, as I realised that I was dreaming, but often as I started to doze off again the feelings would return. I don't know how many times that happened, but it became a common occurrence to look forward to at night. I was drinking a bit at the time, and that just made me increase my alcohol consumption. Or if I was lucky, I'd add a sleeping pill to the mix. Yeah, drugs were a problem, but not the cause of these events, I'm certain of that. After dealing with the phantom cat goblin thing for a month or three, I was ready to graduate to the truly freaky stuff. It only happened a handful of times, thankfully. And compared to some of the episodes of sleep paralysis I've read about, my experiences don't actually sound too bad. 
Some people experience full-on auditory and visual hallucinations, whereas my episodes only consisted of physical sensation and intense emotion, with only minimal audio hallucination. It was always between 3 and 5 a.m. I had one of the front rooms of an old one-story villa. I'd be awakened by someone entering the front door and initially think it was one of my flatmates. Then I'd note that it was still dark and that nobody had gone out the night before. And with the realisation that this was a stranger, the feeling of impending doom would start creeping over me. It would steadily grow as I'd feel the footsteps come towards my door. I'd get the sense that the entity was here for me, and sure enough, I'd hear my bedroom door opening slowly. At this point I'd realised that I couldn't move and I'd try to scream but nothing would come out. As the entity slowly but deliberately crossed the room towards me, the sense of doom would intensify and I knew that the thing was here to kill me or worse, to drag me down to hell. I don't have words to describe the sheer terror. Even without seeing anything, I knew that this entity was pure evil. I'd always wake up at the point that I could feel it right next to me. Looking back, these episodes culminated in me coming very close to burning that house down. A combination of insomnia and drug addiction led me to doing something incredibly stupid in the room that it all took place in. Something beyond a stupid mistake. Full Armour said, Truth is stranger than fiction. I'm 40 years old. I was born and raised Catholic. I went to church and Sunday school every week till I was 12 years old. I became a teenager and rebellious and wanted nothing to do with church anymore. By the time I was 16, I started noticing on the news a lot of priests were being accused of pedophilia. And I knew in my heart these men were evil, as well as the Catholic Church, as they treated my mother like some kind of criminal because my father took off with another woman. My mother was absolutely broken from that and then to be treated by the church in that way. This is when I realized that the Catholic Church was evil in my mind, and I fell away from God, as I started getting into drugs and alcohol. By the time I was 21, I was having these dreams that felt absolutely real, that I was being visited by aliens, coming into my bedroom. This was the most terrifying experience in my life, as I couldn't move or speak, no matter how hard I tried. The feeling was so horrific that I felt I was in complete despair. This happened to me until I was 34, after having my little girl. I was researching absolutely everything there possibly was on aliens and UFOs day and night. I finally came across a video explaining other people going through the same thing, and the only way they were able to make it stop was to cry out for Jesus Christ. After finishing the video it all came to me that the real truth in this world was Jesus Christ. So I repented and asked Jesus Christ to forgive me for all the terrible things that I've done in my life, and I got saved. At this point I asked God to guide me and show me the truth of this world. And he did, and I woke up to all the deception of knowing aliens were really demons. That there were these secret societies and rulers of the world conspiring with them. To make a long story short, at this point I was awoke and kept digging for more truth. And one day I came across this video about Flat Earth, and I laughed and thought I'd watch the video for entertainment purposes only. All of a sudden I realized there was a lot of truth to it. 
But then this guy, Eric DeBay, practiced this Kabbalistic doctrine, and I realized in my mind this flatter thing was a joke being pushed out there by the wickedness I had awakened from. A few years later, I came across this other channel. I can't remember who it was. There was something about it that made me think about giving this flatter thing another chance. So I watched this video, and the way the guy explained how it was God's creation, and it all matched up with scripture. My eyes opened more clear than ever before, and I realized that the Bible needed to be read literally. And then doing more research and realizing that everything NASA has ever done and said were all lies and all deception. And I came to the conclusion that let God be true, and every man a liar. After I came across this channel, I felt like everything you were saying in your videos was astonishing to me, making me feel like I wasn't alone in this. So thank you for putting yourself at risk to get the truth out. May all glory be to God. Absolutely awesome content from your channel. I now feel closer to God than ever in my life, knowing he's standing right above the firmament watching all of us, and I believe we're living in the time of Noah.